And everyone talks about your dad, but your mom is such an amazing woman. I mean, you're talking like what she's achieved. People don't achieve that. I mean, like, yeah, of course, a couple people. And she's one of the couple people that have done that. It's crazy, man. Hey guys, welcome to part four of my interview with Chris Van Dam. Now, if you haven't seen the other parts, make sure to check those out. I'll link them in the description below. But in this one, we're going to talk about health and fitness. So which of his parents had a bigger influence in getting him into incredible shape and getting him motivated? Because on one hand, you have Jean-Claude Van Damme, the muscles from Brussels. And on the other hand, you have his mom, Gladys Portuguese, a top 10 Miss Olympia competitor. Can you imagine having access to that kind of motivation and knowledge? Both your parents that well known in the fitness and bodybuilding community? Talk about the real life double impact. There's two of them. But anyway, if you like this kind of content, please help support the channel by hitting the like button, subscribing, sharing the video. That woman is the strongest human being I know next to my grandma. Those two women are incredibly strong. I want to ask you something about your mom, because obviously everybody talks about your dad because, well, obviously, you know, he's Van Damme. Your mom is amazing. And, and people may not necessarily know this, but because I'm heavily involved in like fitness and yeah, I can you know, see, lifting weights, all that. It's good. Your mom has achieved like the highest level in what she tried to do being a top 10 Miss Olympia competitor. Like for people that don't know, I mean, think about it. So Arnold Schwarzenegger was Mr. Olympia. Olympia is like the elite of the elite. And your mom was basically, people know Arnold Schwarzenegger from Pumping Iron. Your mom was in Pumping Iron to the women. Yeah. Like an elite bodybuilder. So I wanted to ask you like, um, obviously you're in good shape. You like working out. Did you get more of that from your mom or from your dad? Because your dad's in amazing shape too, but come on, he's no Mr. Olympia, but your mom's Miss yeah. Olympia. <laughs> I've got some photos of my dad. You know, he was Mr. Belgium a few times, I think, or a handful of times. Oh, actually, okay. So yeah, he did bodybuild but, back in Belgium, but, but again, he, not at the he, Olympia he, level. He looked amazing. No, 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 not not the Arnold level. Yeah. Kidding, you know? uh, he, I don't think he ever wanted to be massive because of the agility for his martial arts. Yeah, it wouldn't have looked right, man. Yeah, it would look interesting. It would look interesting. I remember seeing some bodybuilders doing martial arts on the beach, and it was a, it was a funny, uh, it was a funny aesthetic to look at, because <laughs> they, you know track and field, and, but they're beautiful, they're beautiful bodies, but they're slow posers. You know, it's a different world. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother was heavily influenced on my on my fitness, especially now in my older years, than it was. My father was more so in my younger years the martial arts. I never did weight training until I was, I started weight training, it, when I was. Uh, 17, 16, my dad would drag me to the gym and I hated it. Oh, I hated oh okay. It. So that wasn't really a passion of yours. I hated it so much. I hated going to goals. And one day he just went, whoa. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go with you. And I, and I stopped. And I started training and I saw my first bicep start. I said, okay, this is, this is cool. But then <laughs> I got too much into it and I started to get bigger. I didn't like that. I didn't want to be too big for my, because I started losing my flexibility. I started losing my dexterity, my, my speed. And that was the whole thing of the dichotomy of the bodybuilders on the beach doing martial arts. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like that. So I, I stopped all weight training. I do very light weights, if anything, for, okay. for certain sets of certain and certain reps in certain sets. But I do bar work. Um, you yeah, know, I see all, you doing pull-ups on, on like, I, I think it's YouTube so or Instagram. I know I've seen you doing all these pull-ups. So. And I love it. I, I study the bar brothers and I, they're, they're unbelievable. Those guys are like, I think they're Serbian. And they're, these guys are amazing. Who knows, who knows what they're taking, if they're taking anything. If they're not taking anything, holy crap, they're amazing. Um, and uh, they taught me how to do a muscle up and all that jazz. And I, I, love, I love bar work. It's become such an addicting thing to just to, to hit the bars and do – I do 250 of everything, but not, not, not consecutive. Oh, I mean, sure. I mean, you got lactic acid building up, man. You're, you're, you're like a human. I mean, some people yeah. don't. They have a genetic thing where they don't build up lactic acid. And they wow, that's incredible. do 400 pull-ups. You're just like, well, that's not normal. Wow. I see again, everybody's different, you know, yeah. um, that's, 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 I, I didn't know that. That's great. And that makes sense. And now I'm like, Oh, it makes sense. That'd be cool. Um, but you know, I do sequences of 20 to 30 and then I go all the way to 210. I always do 210 of everything push-ups in the morning. Um, after I drink my morning, I do like this high, high dosage of, uh, con uh condensed veggies and fruits in the morning and then I do my, my 210 pushups, you know, Greg got oxygen in the lungs. Um, and then um, I do my work today, hit the gym again in, in the middle of the day, do the muscle group I'm doing that day and then call it quits, maybe some cardio to tone it down. But I, I try to do cardio a few times a week. My mom 
whenever I'm in the gym, she walks by sometimes. She still trains. She's 64 and she's cut. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's cool, man. And she wears these baggy fucking things and, you know, doesn't show off anything. When she's in the gym, when she's in the gym, it's the only time I'm seeing her wear a t-shirt or a tank top mm. and she's cut and, and she can lift. I mean, it's, it's like Frank Zane. She's just, it's unbelievable to watch, to watch her train. And she'll come, she'll come to the gym when I'm training and she'll watch me train and she'll give me a little pointer and I take it. I don't argue with my mom about it because you know, she was up there with Rachel McLeish and Carl. Yeah, no, that's so cool, man. It's really cool. She's big inspiration and also big on um, motivation. My mother is, uh, she's very, very uh, big on motivation. You know, you got to get out there. You got to do sports. Sports are very important. Mm-hmm. From, since I was a kid, we were always in sports. My sister, me, my brother grew up on a farm rodeoing, uh, a ranch, sorry, rodeoing, um, barrel racing with, uh, with, uh, with, with, with young horses. Uh, that her mother raised and she's a rodeo champion uh darcy so my brother was raised with like you know surviving in the wilderness and he's really tough great music the guy never gets sick it's unbelievable wow. he can he can he can drink one night and wake up early the next morning it's unbelievable and <laughs> that's something that i'm that with age i'm like oh, hey, you'll, you'll see you later boy but but he he's uh he's just naturally strong he's got good genes proud of him and my sister too she takes good care of herself you know she trains every day Yoga, stretching, very, very flexible. Bianca is very flexible, like, like, like our father. Yeah, that's cool. Like, you know, my dad loved martial arts and he did it and inspired many people because his love for it was inspirational, it was pure. And that's, that's the very spark that we all have inside us. Mm. It's that little relatability factor. Oh, that's cool, I wanna do that. Like when my mom saw bodybuilding for the first time on TV, she was like, what's that? And he, she saw all these girls posing and, that's what I want to do. It just hit her. And, and it, she just knew at that moment, that's what, that was her destiny. And she worked her ass off and, 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 and made it and then gave it all up to be with my dad and have kids. God bless her. I thank her every day for it. You know? Yeah. Uh, it's really cool. And again, like I mentioned, everyone talks about your dad, but your mom is such an amazing woman. I mean, you're talking like what she's achieved. People don't achieve that. I mean, like, yeah, of course, a couple people, and she's one of the couple people that have done that. It's crazy, man. She's great. And, She's just so easy. She's so easy to talk to. She's so chill. She's a wonderful painter. She's doing. She does these beautiful portraits of, of our family members, hyper realistic. Oh. Went to high school art and design in New York when, in the seventies. She paid for it herself. Worked three jobs. I mean, she's really come from the ground up. You know, small little poor Puerto Rican family, and uh, you know, she made it to New York Rican, I guess, second generation. You know, mm. Still, the traditions of the traditions. She worked really hard, and she made it. And uh, she had so much strength, she chose the love of my father and the love of raising a family opposed to her own career. She gave it up because she knew she had to uh, give up something to make a family with this man work. Oh, yeah. Quite the sacrifice <laughs> for sure, man. And, and then she held the fort up, man. Let me tell you, the 90s were, were full of storms. But uh, first, was- earlier, you said your dad still has that fire and that passion like you do, right? And you want to make films basically the rest of your life which is great why did your dad decide because i'm sure he had a discussion with you that the last project he announced it's going to be his last film now obviously chris has insight into this so we're going to discuss that we're going to neatly wrap up the whole interview uh with chris it's an amazing interview we're going to wrap that all up and in the interim though make sure to check out the video i did talking about this van damme project He announced, I'll link it in the description below.